Hello, I'm the Budget Modder and this is episode 42 of my King Tiger and Bergpanzer diorama build. If you're watching this then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like, leave a comment and ring my bell. That'd be brill. Thank you. To start this episode we'll be masking off ready for our first layer of paint. So without further ado, let's crank up the speedy uppy thing and crack on. That's the upper hole masked and ready. Now I need to fit the roof of the turret, so let's get that cleaned up and fixed in place. There we go, that's solidly in place. It ain't going anywhere soon. The fit wasn't as good as I expected and I found there were some gaps that needed to be filled. So I used some styrene strips. I also found that I needed these to look like weld beads because of the positioning. So using my homebrew extra thin glue to soften them, then a scalpel blade, I made the weld marks in them. So. Let's crack on and get them done, shall we? Let's try a bit of neat acetone, see if that helps. Nope. Back to the normal stuff then. Thank you. 
there we go, that's the weld beads done. Now let's mask the turret ready for spraying. There we have the turret ready for spraying. Next up we're going to carry on cleaning up this damn spare drive wheel. I'm still not happy with it. Anyway, let's crack on with that shall we? That's looking a bit better, but I'm still not sure. I'll have to have another look once it's got paint on it. Anywho, now on to making hit marks from various calibres of weapons. There'll be the one that hit the final drive wheel, one on the lower glacis, one on the upper glacis, with a multitude of small calibre marks. To make these, I'm going to be using diamond grinders in my rotary tool. So, let's get cracking, shall we? Of course. There we go, that's the indentations done. Now for some Mr. Surfacer 500. We'll put a dob of it in the indentation, then let it dry for a bit, then push it around to make a lip around that indentation. I got this idea from Mr. Nightshift. It works a treat. Not forgetting a few on the turret, and then another round of Mr. Surfacer. Now we have those done, it's time to move on to getting some serious colour down. I didn't have enough of my Tamiya paints for this, so I popped into my local model shop and picked up the dark yellow, red brown and light olive drab by Revel. Never used these before, so I thought I'd give them a go. So, let's start with a dark yellow. Really? You absolute muppet! What the f*** were you thinking of? Oh well.
So there we have the Hetzer wheels, the King Tiger wheels and the King Tiger turret in their first coat of paint. The Revel paint went down okay. It caused a couple of blockages in the airbrush, but they were easy to sort. It was nice to work with. Anywho, we seem to have run out of time. So this seems like a good a place as any to end. So thank you for watching episode 42. If you want to see what happens in episode 43, then please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modeling.